Behind me here, we have the uh, Outdoor Thai Museum. It is on, on 104th Street Promenade. We're in the historic warehouse district. It is at the north end of 104th Street. It's open to the public. It's free of charge. The idea is to promote uh, vintage tiny, uh, neon signs in particular. I think the genius started with heritage planners, uh, you know, over there in sustainable development at the city of Edmonton. They recognized that there was a number of very valuable urban light forms, if you will, available to them. So they collected them. They gathered them together and have been doing so for a number of years. And that basically stimulated the idea that, yes, we should create a museum for these neon signs. Collaboration has been very important to this project. This is essentially the positive results of a multi-partnership. We've had the City of Edmonton Heritage Planners working closely with my program, which is the Art and Design in Public Places. We've gone, reached out into the business community, garnered support from the Alberta Sign Association, and uh, started to roll. This beautiful spot on the east wall of the TELUS building was selected, and TELUS then became a partner of the project to allow this museum to be in this location. I think this is a classic example of how art and design can actually change a neighborhood. And we know there are these socio and economic benefits of art and design on display in major cities. The Neon Sign Museum offers a cultural tourism destination. We have a very strong business uh, community that really wants to see Edmonton flourish and uh, we're not afraid to get involved and put some money into it as well and put our influence into it. So there you have arts and culture, business and the corporate entity of the city of Edmonton and collaborating and bringing in a big fish like TELUS to make it all happen. Alberta Sign Association is very proud to have partnered with the City of Edmonton to be involved in such a unique project and a project that we can show to our industry all over North America and see other cities and municipalities restore neon and save the artistry of such a unique way of sign display. The grid is designed in a way that it can accommodate up to 30 signs, depending upon, of course, the size of each sign. And as time progresses and more signs are added, the grid has a lot of flexibility in how we position each sign. We are very excited about the Neon Sign Museum and what it means to the city of Edmonton and what it means to 104th Street. It has generated a lot of interest at a national level and how unique it is for Edmonton and for Alberta and for Canada as a whole. It creates livability within our city and it creates a place of, uh, of attraction, the place in which you can go to and enjoy. We're uh, the biggest city the farthest north and we're dark uh, between October and March. The more lights we can get up in the more unique ways, the more important it is. When we put up lights on our historic high-level bridge when we put up neon signs on the side of a building and light them up. These are unique installations that combine historical interest and light in a dark city. I think you can't do much better than this.